Um. Uh, Kevin had a, it's it's an Achilles injury. I don't know uh, the extent of it. He'll have an MRI tomorrow. Um. Let me tell you something about Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant loves to play basketball, and the people that questioned whether he wanted to get back to this team were wrong. I think this team is very fixated on winning. They're out to start a new mission, just like every other team in the league. I'm sorry, when you talk about unstoppable, the only thing that stops Kevin Durant is Kevin Durant. Here's Beverly. This time Durant. And a foul ball on Durant who marks out of Durant. They're both out. They've both been just thrown out of the game. Durant on the pull-ups. Nails it. There is no one mm. who can stop Kevin Durant except Kevin Durant. That time Durant goes, Durant scores, and one for KD. Galadari got a piece with six on the shot clock. Oh. Wow, tough turnaround for KD. Apple trying to stay with him. Durant again, same spot, pull up, same result. That's just unguardable. Durant finds some room, puts it in, Kevin Durant, 31 points! Yeah, I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. Y'all know who I am. <laughs> and the Golden State Warriors are one step closer to what they hope is the climb to the crown. Do you think there is anything the Rockets can do to slow down yeah. I'm the one, bitch, I am the one, like Keanu Reeves. Durant to the done. basket. Gotta get it done, look, look on the knees. They can't leave us hanging, no, no, not no more. Durant finds some yeah, room. Puts it in, Kevin Durant, 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 31 points. I am the one, like Keanu Reeves. Get it done, gotta get it done, no blood on the knees. They can't leave us hanging, no, no, not no more. Best we leave, yeah, that shit is banging. Bobby killed it with no time to breathe. I should thought I'm sitting cross side, look on Valet, oh my God. I just saw this motherfucker out, I ain't even tried. My back six make this beat six bring the heat you got on repeat and Curry against Tucker on top and back to the isolation one on one ball it's Durant with Shumper defending and Kevin Durant laces one through and he's hurt he is holding on to his right Achilles and he looked back at it and he thought someone hit him in the Achilles and you know what usually what that means. Look, right, right there. You know exactly what that means. That's what Kobe Bryant did. You I'm know not what, saying he has no, that, but, but that's this is exactly, exactly what, what Kobe is. did. He goes to the locker room, and this is a major story. Time out. How I felt once I came down from the shot, I pushed off to run back down court, and I thought somebody tripped me up. And I look back, and I'm like, first thing that came to my mind was like, Boogie said, Kobe said, I felt like somebody just kicked him or did something, tripped him or something. So that's the first thing that went to my mind. I was like, let me slow down and process a bit what's going on. And then I started walking. I realized that it's, you know, I can put some weight on it. It's not as bad as I thought. And I was pretty relieved after that. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. But we won before Kevin Durant. I heard Draymond Green said that, right? This is actually the first time that they actually need Kevin Durant. Where's that bad man that we're so accustomed to seeing on, on the basketball court, the best player in the game right now. There's nobody that can limit this guy except himself. He is the most unguardable human that's ever been created from an offensive standpoint. Can shoot, can dribble, can pass, can drive, can do everything. Here's his first shot, and it looks pretty good there. Rattles home a three. KD 
right down the gut. That was missing in Houston. teammates and the organization know exactly what I've done here on and off the court to become uh, part of this culture to kind of, uh, you know, kind of put my, stand my flag in this, co you know, in this coach and this organization I've done in, you know, the last two years. Pretty much everything that they asked me to do, I know what I bring to the team, and, but I also know that a lot of people on the outside, you know, don't like to see us together, and, uh, you know, I get it. Being down three games to one in the NBA Finals is a daunting task for any team. But the Golden State Warriors aren't just any team. And you can never underestimate the heart of a champion. All of a sudden, Golden State has a new addition. Kevin Durant will play, and Kevin Durant will start. Three, Kevin Durant, his third three-pointer all in. Ibaka trying to stay with Durant, knocks it away, and Durant slipping. Durant goes down, holding his leg. Ibaka goes up, and is fouled down the other end. And Durant grabbing that right leg. It's the right calf that put him out. You will not see a better sight than we just witnessed. Unfortunately, what happened to Kevin Durant? The Kyle Lowry, Pascal Siakam, Serge Ibaka telling the crowd, no. We are not going to cheer when this guy goes down. That's appreciation for greatness. Uh, obviously, prayers are to KD. He gave us what he what he could, um, and we hope that he makes speed of recovery. But that's kind of the MO of our team. He, he sacrificed his body for us, and I just feel bad for him. So, well, uh, I got a lot of emotions right now. Crazy. Kevin Durant sustained an Achilles tear, Game 5, NBA Finals. As a result, Kevin Durant is going to be out probably for the year. What did he have to prove? What did he have to prove coming back? And yes, I do feel like he was, he was pressured. I feel like he was pressured from, you know, his teammates. I feel like he was pressured from the coaching staff. Guys can come back from an ACL. It, 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 it's almost impossible to come back from an Achilles. I think there's a lot of question as to what KD is going to be when he comes back from injury. It's going to be very interesting to see in 2021 if Kevin Durant is the same player that he left in 2019. reporting that Kevin Durant is in fact headed to Brooklyn to join Kyrie Irving and DeAndre Jordan. I mean, I just evaluated my life up until this point, and, um, and once I did that, and it was pretty easy to see the direction that I needed to go into. I, I couldn't make a bad decision, but you know, this one was a perfect one for me. How did he tell you that he was picking Brooklyn? I found out that he was picking Brooklyn when everybody else found out, which is exactly how it should be owe it to me to tell me before he tell everybody else. Like, we did what we had to do. 
K, you know, made a decision for himself, and that's you, know, you can't argue that. Um, if I wished, yeah, I wish we could play with K. He's an unbelievable talent, unbelievable person. We accomplish a lot together. Um, but uh, you know, things things have, have changed a little bit, so we got to battle down the road. So it should be a fun new experience on that front too. Just before Kyrie Irvin talked about how you and DJ and he spoke at 4.16 in the morning, the day of free agency. Can you tell us a little bit more about those conversations? I mean, um, we just like, are we ready to do it? And um, everybody was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was really that simple. <laughs> I tried to think of something deeper, but it really was that simple.